Hi, this is Mr. Schaefer. I want to walk you through using the Evernote iPad app. On this image from Evernote, you can see that you have a much cleaner interface and you have the ability to add uh, sketches and drawings. So on the left hand side, you'll see the tab bar. On the bottom, when you're in a note, you'll see the toolbar. But we need to make some adjustments first. The first thing we'll do is find your profile. It's a little silhouette of a humanoid. Once you get there, you're going to tap on it to reveal your profile where you can choose settings. So once you press on your profile, you'll notice a couple things. You'll notice that settings shows up. If you long press on your profile account, you can switch between personal and business. Remember, teachers and students only use personal. Another way to access the switch is to go up to your username and the little drop down triangle will allow you to switch between personal and business. For some reason you cannot find your notebooks. Make sure you are not in business settings. The first thing we're going to adjust is a camera. So again on your profile, press settings. Number two, you're going to press camera. Number three, you'll tap on image size and select medium. That will save space on your iPad and make the images much easier to print. You can turn on save snapshots to save the images you take into your camera roll. Realize that this will increase the amount of images you have stored on your iPad. Adjusting the default in the offline notebooks. Again, we're still in settings. Tap on notebooks. Make sure you have selected a default notebook. The default notebook is a notebook that any note you make goes into if you have not previously selected a notebook. You probably have one called First Notebook already. Find where it says Offline Notebooks. Press on that and select to download all notebooks. This will give you offline access to all of your notes in case you don't have internet. New notebooks are created when you uh, see your list of notebooks as displayed in number one. You press on the notebooks and at the very bottom, number two, is where you can create a new notebook. You always want to give it a name that makes sense. And you can adjust the notebook options under the three dots as outlined on the screenshot number four. If you add a notebook to your shortcuts, it'll be listed under shortcuts and be very easy to find. Something you do need to know, the notebook type cannot be changed once it is created. So if you by accident create a business notebook, you cannot change it to a personal notebook. You would have to make a new personal notebook and move all the notes into that personal notebook out of the business notebook and then simply delete the business notebook. Again, teachers and students use only personal notebooks. New notes. You select the notebook where you want the note to be, like number one. I want it in Carl's main. I make sure I'm in that notebook. I press the plus sign, number two. Give it a name. If I long press on the plus, it will turn into uh, the option to add a photo, audio, or reminder, as is displayed in number three. And if you use the options, under the three dots, you can duplicate a note, set reminder, even move to the trash. Number six, when you are in a note, you can use those quick tools to sketch, attach a file, add audio or images. Really fast to get to that. I like to use the Evernote email address that all of us have to email files, sometimes email messages, PDFs, if I'm doing research and I want to keep track of uh, information I found, 
I add it to my contacts, number three. Once it's in my contacts, I can simply email that note to Evernote. If I put the name of the notebook in the subject line with at notebook name, it will auto file it into that particular notebook. Tags and other organizational tips, reminders. Use the clock. You can set a reminder that will keep this note at the top of a notebook. You can also search by tags. I like to add tags because once you add a tag, you only have to uh, do it on one device and then it will synchronize all of those tags between the different um, computers and devices that you use. So make those adjustments. Have a great year. Thank you.